And this should be Lane McAdams at 113. And it looks like, I didn't think that that was the case. So it looks like they skipped the 113 and the 120. And this looks like, if this is truly 126, it's Dylan Caceres. We'll have to settle in here a little bit and see some wrestling styles to confirm or deny. It looks like at the JV level they're not bringing the the individual wrestlers out if there happens to, to be a forfeit. To accept the forfeit, they're just moving on to the next bout. with an escape and maybe coming back for uh, for a reversal here. We'll see how this goes. Now, I'm not convinced this is Dylan Caceres, so... If it is Clay Schwab at 120, I think the scoreboard may be a little off. I believe that they just went through Lane's match at 113 and started the 120. There we go. So he will he'll reset at the center. Fountain Fort Carson. And I believe 120, although the scoreboard actually does say 126. Fountain Fort Carson is leading 5-2. to two. Oh, this could be... It was kind of action-reaction. Flip and then flip, and Pine Creek unfortunately comes out on the underside of that particular scramble. We're going to start the second here. 
with Pine Creek down by one, six to seven, starting up on top. This could work out well if we can sink in that double chicken wing. That is a stick, ladies and gentlemen. That's one of those positions that when you get them in, the official does not wait too long to signal a pin. Fantastic work. At a minute and 35 in the second period. Well... All right, I'm not sure that that was Dylan Caceres, but this truly is Peter Isaiah's. 